Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. This is going to be episode 72 of the 10 minute modeling challenge and last week someone put in the chat I think that I was going to model something and I said it was a good idea but I don't really remember who it was who said it and what the suggestion was. So if you're watching again and I said something along the lines that that sounds like a cool idea let me know again and maybe I'll write it down this time so I won't forget. But this time around I'm going to use Blender for something totally different at least for being me and usually I use Blender only to model low-poly characters and objects for game engines, and in my case it's for Unity. But this one, I'm gonna actually render something. So that, I'm treading on deep water here. I'm not really using Blender for that, and uh, most of the people who are watching this video is probably gonna be a lot more skilled at rendering than I am. So I see it as a bit of a learning experience, and it's about time I tried a few different things. As you can see, my uh, startup scene looks slightly different. First of all, I've taken my gradient texture and I've created four more versions of it. And uh, to the right here is a desaturated version, uh, about 50% less and 75% less saturation in the colors down in the lower left. And I've found that a lot of times when I model some stuff with the gradient texture, uh, it will be oversaturated and there's no way to really desaturate it. So I've created this alternative one. And uh, at the bottom right here, there's another feature as well. And that looks exactly like the top left. And that's because it's the same pretty much. But what I have done in the shading here, if you look here, I've created another texture here. And this one has got the same palette down. Oh, there's the camera. Uh, this one has got the same uh, colors down here from the gradient, but I've just made it black here. And I'm using this as an emission texture, believe it or not. So I'm gonna render something in cycles. So my 10 minute modeling challenge this week is I'm going to be modeling uh, a building with some uh, some glass windows that it's going to have like a blue light to it. So it'll light up the scene with the emission and we can look at the shading here again. We've got uh, here's the Infancia palette and it's the X4 so times four because it's the four versions and down here is just that emissive uh, one and I've dragged that one to the emission and I've just set the emission strength here to four so it lights it up a little bit. And here in the rendering settings as well, a few more things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use cycles and GPU to make it a little bit faster. Let's set this one to 512 because we're going to use emission. I've set uh, the denoise here, denoising for the render. And um, let's see, did I change anything else? Nope, I don't think so. Not in this one. Let's see here. 1920 by 1080. Nothing changed there. This is all good. But I did change one more thing here. In surface, I changed it from just a plain color. I've downloaded this texture here. It's from hdrihaven.com. And uh, you can use, uh, they've got loads of cool textures here that you can download. And I just wanted like a little bit of a night light because I'm going to make a night scene and the windows are hopefully going to be lighting up my building. So highly experimental for being me. We will see how um, this goes. The, I don't think I changed anything else. So. The plan now is, oh yeah, I did create a camera here as well, and uh, I've created a little orthographic view because I think I want to make a, like a little uh, or orthographic uh, structure here. I'm going to do some sort of a modern uh, villa because then I don't have to spend uh, so much time on the on the frames around the windows and stuff. It'll just be like uh, gaps into the building. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to use Blender for something it was designed to do, and that is to render something, but this could turn out disastrous. We'll find out. Ready? Steady, go, and we're off. Yeah, I'm gonna do my usual Shift D to duplicate that face, scale it down, and I can see in the preview there roughly how the big this building is gonna be, E to extrude. So, like I said, I'm gonna to try to do something like a, a modern building of some sort, maybe we'll look with a terrace here. So maybe Control R again, and we'll extrude this one. Fancy. And here I'm gonna be I to inset and E to extrude it up. Let's create a decking up here and like a thing to come out here. So I'll do uh, I to inset, E to extrude down, a little rail there. This looks all right up there in the view. I to inset this and E to extrude this down. It's going to be interesting to see how this render turns out. Here, up here, I'm going to put like a little exit. So Shift D to duplicate it, E to extrude. And I'll put uh, Shift D to duplicate here and just do like a little exit. There we go. Exit entry. I don't know. Same thing. And here I'll also do. I think I'm gonna do Shift D to duplicate this one, and we'll do like an exit coming out here. But should we do some stairs here? I think so. Shift D, scale Z, scale Y, and then here 
E to extrude that one. That's too high. I'm just going to do some slight stuff. I've got no idea if I'm getting these proportions right. So E to extrude that on and shift E select and E to extrude. That should be all right. All right. And uh, here I'm actually also going to put like a little lounge area thing. So maybe we'll do E to extrude that on. Just raise it up slightly. Could that be a thing? I don't know. We could put a couch here, I think. Okay, how am I doing for time? 8.16. Okay, we, we need to put some windows and stuff. Maybe I should do that now. So control R. Look up there. Control R. Control R. This is adding a lot of geometry here. That could be probably debatable how good that is. But control R. Control R. We'll do, do two there. This should be all right. Control R. There we go. And now I'm just going to put the windows on here. I'm going to do a luxurious window here. Let's put one here. This could be a door coming out, couldn't it? Um, here's a window. And no more windows there. Should we do another one here? I don't know. I can't decide. Shift select. We'll do some on the back side here. Uh, so it lights up the background of the buildings as well. There, that should be it. And here maybe we'll put one. We'll do that one. Double windows there. That should be good. And now I'll do I tin. Should I do all that? No, I'll just do Alt E to extrude long face normals in just slightly. And here comes the thing. I'm going to move G and move this one down now to the blue area here. Maybe like blue windows here. That color. That should be emissive now. So we'll find out when we render this thing later on. A to select or L to select everything. Actually, I want a D. I think I want a P. Separate that one, the ground, so I don't want to get that one confused. L to select the link here, and I'm going to do like a desaturated, uh, we'll try one of these new colors, like a bit of a pale thing like this. And I'm going to create a wood decking here. So shift selecting a bunch of those, and shift selecting these. Try to get the same color here. I'm going to do 627. G and like pale brown here. That's it. I want to try it with the paler colors a little bit to see how it goes. I to inset here. Let's create a doorway scale Y E to extrude in. That should be all right. And this one needs to be that emissive uh, color as well. So make that one emissive blue here. And here as well, we'll do the same. I to inset. Move it down. So, all right, we can keep it. I have no idea if these proportions are correct. Huh? Same thing in there, uh, light blue. I don't know if I'm using the same blue color. And these have gotten a different color from the rest of the house now, so I need to just bring those down too. There we go. Roughly the same at least. I don't know if I like that color. We'll find. I'm a bit scared of rendering that one. Let's go this color instead. All right, this was going to be the lounge area. We'll do that different brown there and 523 okay maybe i'll put a little should I put a little roof thing here need to extrude that on bring it out and down no not down apparently belt select do a little bit darker there no that's good i have no idea what i'm doing now i'm starting to wreck this model now scale y that should be all right okay here we'll put some air conditioning units anyway that'll look Authentic, probably. So I'll uh, do Shift D, scale it. I right, inset E, or E to extrude. I right, inset there. And here, Shift D. Here's like just aircon unit. A little discrete here. And I think I'm gonna put one, another one there too. There, just to make it look. Uh, here I'm gonna actually put like some nice cylinder. No, not a cylinder. I'm gonna do. Let's do a cone. Eight is okay, and I'll do side view, scale, shift Z, scale down, move it up. I'm gonna put, put some uh, like vegetation here as well. So I'll do it super simple. So I'll project from oh, project from view, and here I'm just gonna do a desaturated uh, green color up with a the tree there. And we've got 356 on the clock. Maybe slightly smaller. Shift D to duplicate. Shift D. And we'll put some down here as well. So 
some evergreens here on top of the building. Should we put... I'll put like a little pergola type of thing here. Does anyone know what a pergola is? Is that like a common thing? It seems to be all over the place in Sweden here because you are not allowed to build the, with the roof on. So you have like a fake roof. And shift the scale. Z oh. E to extrude. L scale Z. Scale X, skin here. Scale Z. There we go. Okay, this is taking a little bit longer. Three minutes than I thought. There we go. Okay, bring it out. There. L, shift the duplicate that one. These are some thick poles. I'll have to scale, shift Z. Okay. Period, individual origins. Scale, shift Z. I should do it. And here, I'll have to do something here as well. Shift D, E to extrude, and then just do E separate. This was supposed to be a luxurious place. This looks like a little tiny thing now. So, here we go. I'll put a couch here as well. Super simple. That's going to have to do. Shift D, scale Y. This is going to be the simplest couch ever. And control R, control R. Control R. Should we put a red couch here? I think so. E to extrude. And E to extrude. L and red. Like a desaturated red, maybe. There. And 157. Okay. So it feels like I'm forgetting something here. So maybe I'll put uh, some utility thing. Or I'll put some edgings on the building, maybe. Should I? I think so. Shift D. Scale, maybe get a little bit more interesting corners here. E to extrude this way so we don't get the hollow. So this is going to be interesting now to see for the render. I should 126. Just do maybe I'll just do on the lower part here. Just for some edge details there. Maybe we'll change these colors darker. Uh, shift D to duplicate them. Over to there. All right. Okay, I'll have to cheat a bit here. Shift D. Shift D. I've got one minute to go. Let's put some little lights here as well then. Take this one. Borrow that on. Scale. Scale it down to there. E to extrude. E to extrude. Control plus. Make that one the blue color. Maybe a bit more blue. No. Just... Scale, shift, set. Okay, I've got 34 seconds, so I'm just going to place this in a few places here. Place it in a few places. Uh, shift the... I have no idea. What, what will this look like? Okay, we'll see if those glow in the dark. I have no idea. Could go either way. Shift the... Shift the... Shift the... Let's put some up here. Nine seconds. Okay, I'll just put them by the door. Up there will have to be a little bit darker. Shift D. That's it. That's it. Time's up. Ah, I forget. To, I keep forgetting to switch this off. Okay. Here comes the moment of truth now. I have no idea what this is going to look like when I press F12 now. <laughs> this is scary. Okay, so I framed it okay, I think. It's a bit on the... Maybe I can move the camera slightly. I'll just try to press F12 and we'll see how it goes. F12. 3, 2, 1, F12! Render. Oh, okay. It's going to take some time because it's... Uh, I've put 512 samples to get the emission. Usually creates a lot of the noise. So we'll see how it goes. That's uh, very strong, those lights. Maybe a little bit too strong. I think you'd be blind if you sat in there to watch this. <laughs> be like uh, having some serious, serious uh, issues, I think, with your vision. And out there in the pergola, it's like pitch black. So I've got the emission settings wrong somehow, probably. Or maybe it's the environment that needs to be a bit lightened, lightened up. All right. 
And this is orthographic view, so if it looks a bit weird with the perspective, it's because uh, when it's blown up to quite a big size and it's an orthographic, maybe it looks a little bit off. Orthographic means that you don't apply perspective in the same way, it's sort of a flat, so a lot of uh, pixel art is uh, orthographic mode. I think that rendering process was a little bit heavy on my computer because uh, I'm actually recording my screen and my HDMI input from my camera uh, at the same time into the same computer as I was rendering and it just shut down my image so I froze like, uh, I don't know, uh, like a, a, a Yeti or something. They don't freeze, do they? They, they live in the cold. So I just froze anyway and uh, I was uh, petrified when I looked at myself. I usually am every time I see myself in the mirror, but I was more petrified than normal because this time I was just perfectly still but I thought maybe it froze during the 10 minute modeling challenge because I've had a few ha mishaps in the past where I've done some modeling and then I've realized that I haven't recorded the screen sometimes I haven't recorded myself sometimes but luckily enough I just uh, had a quick look through the video and it looked like I was uh, animated throughout the whole process and it was only during the rendering process that it froze so this is the final image uh, very overexposed and I think they're having some insane issues. Maybe they've got sunbeds uh, in there, maybe they've got some serious uh, TVs, I don't know. Uh, I think the light turned out a little bit too bright, <laughs> if you ask me. But and uh, It's a very simple building though and I like simple. The more I, I look at simple stuff I like it more and more. And uh, maybe this one as a small one, if you shrink it down again, keep a small style in the game, it might work. You never know. You guys have probably rendered a lot more than I have in Blender, so I'm showing my true sides now of uh, lack of uh, competence when it comes to rendering. So I've got a lot to learn here, but it was a lot of fun and uh, I'm okay with the result anyway. I thought it looked pretty neat anyway, even though it's overexposed and a little bit glared and maybe the, the lighting couldn't be a lot better. That was it. The bonus material this week was just to see if it would render in the end or not. So no real tips this week, but uh, a few more videos are coming on that front. So until uh, next episode, take care. And I'll see you in episode 73. Bye for now. Oh, hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Now I'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>